Commercial fishing for sockeye salmon started as summer jobs for Steve and Jen Curian. Their goal back then was to find jobs that supported their desire to live an outdoor-centric life. Little did they know how that seasonal job would transform their lives and set them on a course few could fathom. After both working as set netters in Bristol Bay, Steve was given the rare opportunity even by today's standards, to captain a commercial salmon fishing boat in only his second year as a fisherman. Uh, it was just a raw adventure. I mean, at 23, 24, you know, Alaska adventure, Alaska is always in my dreams, you know, um, hunting, fishing, and we went and did some sport fishing. So they put it, they put it in my name because they could trust me. And then they were going to find a boat captain but they couldn't find anybody to run the boat. So they're like, can you run the boat? Do you think you can run the boat? And I was like, I can run a bulldozer and a log skidder, like give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> the Curians now own and operate five outdoor centric businesses, ranging from tree care to airplanes. However, it's their two direct to market seafood brands, Wild for Salmon and Pride of Bristol Bay, that provide their customers access to wild caught seafood wherever in the lower 48 they may live. Over the last few years, we've worked really hard to deliver the, this great quality product to many people directly to their door. Pride of Bristol Bay offers customers the opportunity to purchase the sockeye salmon that the Curians fish for every summer in 10 and 20 pound cases direct to their door. Wild for Salmon offers all five wild Alaskan salmon species and other creative salmon-based products. In addition, they offer whitefish options like halibut and cod, sea scallops, Alaskan crab, lobster, and gulf shrimp. Our goal as a company really is that no matter where you live in the lower 48, that we can become your direct wild seafood provider that gets you that quality protein direct to your door in a timely and efficient way, but always keeping the quality something that's unmatched by what you can find in your local area. I think that I would love to fish till I'm in my 70s and the kids, you know, hopefully one of the kids will take over the boat and the operation and that the uh, salmon runs are, you know, coming in just as strong in another 30 years.